kindly sit down. Tourism and the Secretary Arturo Buncato, the officials and employees of Pure Gold Prize Club and Acacia Hotel, Davao, led by Chairman Lucio Co. Other distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I have uh, a prepared speech. Medyo kulang ito. Kasi pareho-pareho yan lahat. Pagka ang opisina ang naggawa. It's almost the same. Ang ano lang yan, ang a few things about the topic, pero the semantics are almost the same. But I'd like to just add a few words para sa inyong lahat. Lalo na kayong mga negosyante. I am deeply honored to have been invited by CHMI Land Incorporated to take part in this important milestone for their company. It is my hope that this undertaking boosts the continued growth of tourism in Davao. Today, as we celebrate the opening of the latest luxury hotel, I congratulate you for the remarkable construction and interiors of this structure. But I know the history of this uh, building. May this achievement inspire you to further develop projects in the other urban centers and tourist destinations in the Philippines. Hindi ako nakabarong kasi galing akong Cotabato to switch on the uh, power plant of the Alcantara group. So wala na ho akong panahon na mag magbihis ba. Hindi ako nakadala. So I'm just uh, wearing a, an ordinary Bagay, kayo lahat naman, halos nakapulo lang rin. With a few, puro casual. Mabuti yan, ha? I thus take this moment to acknowledge your efforts to showcase the hospitality and the warmth of the venues and highlight the scenic and vibrant landscapes of our locality to the rest of the world by providing a hub for exemplary guest accommodations and lodging. With the effective implementation of the laws such as the ease of doing business and efficient government service delivery act of 2018, this administration remains committed in enforcing measures that will provide a more conducive regulatory environment encourage business development. Let me tell you something. Uh, a long, long time ago, uh, before I was a, even a candidate to the president, Mr. Lucio Tan invited me for dinner. And he was one of those who was eagerly pushing na tumakbo ka. Sabi ko naman na, alam mo, maganda mo yan, sir, pero Alam mo na, short sa lahat. Edad, pera, lahat. I'm old. Uh, I do not have uh, enough marbles in my pocket. Uh, masyadong mataas yan. Sabi niya, subukan mo lang. Many people will help you along the way. Actually, he is my personal friend, si Lucio Co. Uh, he took care of me uh, after the elections too. Kaya sabi ko, na ala ala ko, nung pagsabi siya na he is not a hotelier, meron siyang hotel na doon ako tumira bago ako pumasok sa Malacanian kasi inaayos pa. In the meantime, but I was waiting for the amenities inside to be, well, you know, uh, doon ako nakatira sa kanya, sa hotel niya na ala ala ko na ngayon. So, talagang kaibigan ko because usually I do not accept yung mga ganyan yan. I seldom, very seldom na magtanggap ako ng... But uh, 
the first time kasi nagka, nagka well, uh, there was this kind of uh, yung being uh, yung sa Bisaya na magaan ang loob ko sa kanya so we talked about everything in politics ang sinabi ko well the one thing that really was pulling down ang ating development was of course the investors but the investors were afraid because of corruption the investors were afraid of venturing into business kasi ang mga politiko naghihingi ng partida sometimes they want to be partners Sometimes, uh, itong mga mayor, mga councils, they demand money before uh, you have the conversion or before they will, uh, you know, uh, uh, clearance ng environmental uh, requirement. Diyan ang nagkahirapan. Kaya pissed off talaga lahat. Ngayon, nag-usap kami, sabi ko, sir, kung sakali tatakbo ako, I will do something about it. Just what I did in Davao. Dito sa Davao, as makita mo lang dito, halos barilan, patayan dito ang NPA. Uh, nung na-mayor ako, sinabi ko sa NPA, kamakaibigan kami, uh, umalis kayo ng Davao, kasi kung hindi, magpatayan tayo. It's either you will continue to kill my people because we were losing four or five policemen a day dito sa Dabao. So, matotal siguro mga about 400, including military men. Kaya sabi ko, I cannot govern a place na nandiyan kayo. Umalis kayo dito. So, umalis sila Oh well, in the fringes of Davao, but uh, fundamentally, the political and economic landscape began to change. But the one that has to be controlled, and even now, is corruption. Every table sa gobyerno na dumadaan yung papel, there is always a demand for money. Kaya sabi-sabi ko sa mga ano, tao na be assertive. Na if you are being milk or ask for something na tapos bayad ka na, sampalin mo, sabihin mo, putang ina ka. Bayad na ako niyan. Wag mo akong bigyan uli ng problema kasi yan lang ang aking mga city engineer maghingi ng 20,000 na assessment. Ganito sa Pilipinas ngayon. I have uh, caused the passing of the ease in doing business. I'm telling the guy to be very strict. At ako, ang covenant nating tao is ganito. Pag hiningan kayo, baski kaano ka na, police, military, mayor, governor, o yung mga public uh, sa taas, secretary, undersecretary, pag may negosyo kayo, sabihin ninyo sa akin, kung hiningian kayo ng pera. Kasi ako, I am a man in a hurry. I have only two years left. Kaya baski anong reklamo mo, kung agrabyado ka, kung pupunta ka sa akin sa Malacanian at mag-complain, Malacanian is open 24 hours a day. Sabihin mo lang doon sa gwardiya, gisingin mo si Duterte, kasi ako ni loko ako nitong hinihingi anak ko at ang negosyo ko and I will call that official in your presence 
at sabihin ko sa iyo na nanampal talaga ako at nagsisipa ako ng tao. Ganon ang ginagawa ko. At huwag kayong matakot mag-report kasi yung tao na report ninyo, sabihin ko talaga sa kanya, putang ina ka. Huwag mong saktan yung tao na sinaktan mo dyan sa negosyo niya o you harass them. You know what? Maging extrajudicial killing ka. I will really kill you. Yan lang ang paraan. It's hard to fight corruption. Hindi maniwala yung putang. Kailan pa ba tayo dito kung hindi mo ginanon? In Davao, I said when I won as mayor, I'm going to build a city. It might not really be a rich city, but I will make it comfortable for everybody. And I told the police, you ask your wife and children, mga dalaga ninyo, ask them to walk the streets at night. At kung umuwi yan, safe, unmolested, unrestored, that is the standard that I want for Davao. Now tell me who is obstructing it. Sino yung ayaw na mangyari yan? Sabihin mo sa akin, kay patay na lang natin. You know, the world is really turning in a very fast state. People want their lives in their lifetime improved. People have problems. Now, if the city remains poor, patay ang tao. Criminals, human rights, Ah, na ako magsalita kasi. Dino, <laughs> you know them. Ako sinabi ko, ano, druga. Sinabi ko sa Dabao, noon, bago ako, go out of Dabao. You go out of Dabao. Pag may wala kang pamasay, if you want uh, an airplane ticket, I'll give you. Tapos noon may, wala na kasi yung barko ngayon eh. I don't know, sabi ni Tugade, uh, pinaresume na yung ibang maliliit. Gusto mo magsakay ng barko, sige. Umalis ka. Huwag ka pum pum pumpay dito kasi papatayin talaga kita. Putang ina mo. Sabi. Yung umalis, buhay. Ayawang ko kung saan na. Yung hindi umalis, patay. Para. Gano'n ang sinabi ko sa may niya na presidente ako. Do not destroy my country. Do not do anything that will deteriorate, cause the deterioration of my country because you will in the end destroy everybody. Kaya pagka nandiyan ka, talagang papatayin kita. Ano bang mali magsabi ako na patayin kita kasi sinisira mo ang bayan ko? Am I not allowed to say that as president? Kaya ganun sabi ko, ngayon, walang iba talaga. I'm on my last two years. Gusto kong sabihin ninyo, kasi pagkatapos kong sampalin niya ng putang ina, pinapaalis ko talaga. Mamili ka. Umalis ka o ipapatay kita. Simple lang. Kaya wala na masyado. Well, yung ibang nasa gobyerno na mga kurakot, well, wala akong hul dyan. Pero hindi ko rin mapatawag kasi may separation of powers kami. Pero yung sa executive department na nagtatarbaho sa mga under the departments of 
finance, DILJ, lahat, lahat ng police, teachers, such under me. Yung mga elected officials ang hindi. I only have supervisory powers na brado. Pero itong sa mga cabinet, I have the control and supervision. Which means I can overturn, I can modify, I can change, amend your decision. Ganun yan. Ang well, importante, sabihin mo sa akin, kasi limang limang cabinet members na who were with me during the time, during the 1988 elections for the mayorship. They, they were my campaign. Kaya nung nanalo ako, binigyan ko sila ng trabaho. Utang na loob yan eh. Pero sabi ko, you know the rule. If you break the rule, ayan. Kilala na nyo kung sila, mga abogado. I simply, uh, my style is, I accepted the resignation of, hindi ko na sabi mag-resign ka. In public, I would just say, uh, magsabihin, ano yan siya? Uh, yep, when I, you know, when you are fired, means to say, it's only one thing there. Puro bright man kayo, mga putang, you are a corrupt official. Ganun yan. So, yan ang gusto kong maging mindset ninyo lahat. Do not, do not allow government to to, ano, ano, go, government is there to serve you. Hindi, hindi kayo alipin ng gobyerno. Ang gobyerno ang alipin ninyo. We are paid to do our duty. Kaya ka ba, narinig pa ninyo ako nakasabi ng Malacanian Palace? Did you ever hear me say, President, ako o Malacanian Palace? I just say my office in passing. I always say, I am a worker of government and I am here to serve you because you have paid me. Bayad na ako. At hindi ako kailangan maghingi. Alam mo sa gobyerno, mahirap. Pagka gusto mong inka malaki, umalis ka. Maliit talaga ang sweldo sa gobyerno. I know that I've been a prosecutor. The peril is Not Ngayon, presidente ako, 200,000. Wala akong ibang allowance, baski tignan niyo sa ko, wala. And I do not allow transactions of government involving money, reclamation, MRT. I do not sign it. It begins and ends with the cabinet member. Kaya wala kang makuha pag, pag alas ko, ganoon mo ako. Ni Sincilio, wala kang makuha sa akin. And that is why, ma maano ako, ma I'm overbearing sometimes. Eh. Pagka mag, mag pagpapinutang kita in public talagang, I, I do not mean so. Talagang, so I'm fan of, eh ganoon ako eh. Nag nagmumura talaga ako. Probably with me is yung paradigm ko as mayor dinala ko pagka presidente. Hindi pa sabi na ako statesman. Hindi pa talaga ako statesman. Eh, tatlong eskwilahan nag-expelled -exp ako. Seven years ako nag-graduate sa high school. Kaya yan sila Sunny Dominguez. Mga classmate ko yan. Naging, umalis na lang ng Amerika. That Sunny Dominguez is a brilliant guy. He was our valedictorian. Ka Kapit bahay ko yan. We were together. He's my childhood friend. Valedictorian ng ka kindergarten hanggang tapos. Ako, well, third year, palipat-lipat na ng eskwilahan. 
And it took me seven years really to get the diploma. But come to think of it. Puro bright yan sila dyan. Mon Lopez, galing yan sa kay David. Basta nag, yung uh, military, puro valedictorian. Sa uh, Department of Defense, valedictorian niya. Taga Kutabato yan, classmate ni Kibuloy. Wala lang akong power kasi kung may power lang ako kasi. <laughs> well, I believe in uh, Pastor Kibuloy. When he says that, I mean, he said that, stop! <laughs> eh kung nag-stop, ali, what's the, what was the trouble? So, stop it! <laughs> eh kung nagkataon talang nag-stop, if I can only have that power doon sa mapkurakot na stop. Kasi alam mo dito, ang Pilipino hindi mo talaga madala sa pakiusap. The Filipino uh, paradigm about is uh, a lot of them go to politics to make money. That's the only thing that they do. They get elected, make money. Ayan ang ano dyan. Kaya ako ay be very careful about it. Asa ako, pag bumira ako, bira ako diritso. Kasi alam ko. Ayan ang gusto kong mangyari sa inyo. Kasi I'm just continuing the story of Tosyo ko. Ang dabaw guman nito kasi nagmatigas ako. Pag sabi ko, no parking dyan, walang dayag, karoon may diagonal parking na yan, yeah, but yeah, that's about in dice for it. No, makita mo sa dabaw, street talaga yan, walang diagonal parking. Pag sinabi ko, no smoking, wala pang batas, wow, no? walang sigarilyo. Pag sabi ko, no firecrackers, walang firecrackers. Well, eh, First year, eventually Davaoenos gusto na nila the way of life at seven at seven at twelve o'clock dito sa Davao. Davao is a desolate place. Kasi yung inuman stops at well one but twelve. No on two binaba ko ng one binaba ni buksingira ng alas dose. <laughs> Di wala na. Wala ang dabaw. Uh, if you want to enjoy about dancing, drinking, it's not the place. Napupunta siya sa Samal. Samal is a very noisy place, that island in front of this, uh, part of this. Uh, Doon kayo. Dabaw is a place for to rest. So, matulog dito. Tsaka yung brum-brum na, na ano yung, because they tinker with the, yung exhaust. Maingay, wala dito yan, huli yan. Because people want to sleep, do not, pati yung mga, yung mga anak ng mayama na mag-drug race. Ano mo sinabi ko, inuli ko sila, biko po putang ina ninyo, mga anak kayo ng mayaman, and you think that you have the right to use the public streets as your racing circuit. Hubaran ko kayo sa television. The next time you do it, hubaran ko kayo. Tawagin ko ang media, hubaran ko kayo. In public. Ayaw. Ayaw niyang maniwala, subukan ninyo. Ayaw. Tapos na ang istorya. Walang drug race, drug race. Ayaw na yun ang... It's not being a dictator. 
it's not being a, a dictator, but you have to put the, your uh, level sa yung, yung psychology ng tao. Penchant to abuse, to use power. You have the best police here. Noon dito, magkingi, hingi. I ban checkpoints. Pati police, binubugbog ko yan. Tingnan, tanungin mo yan sila. Pag ng police, magkano dito, tinatawag ko sa kwarto, sinesira ko yung kwarto. Hindi ako ng ano, ng bodyguard. Sabihin ko po, tangin na, either bugbogin ko or hamunin ko ng barilan. Eh, bumunod ka. Sabi natin, tapusin mo ako, tapusin kita. And one time, during the last election, I said, do not terrorize the people. I gave the assurance. Let them vote freely. Sabi ko. And let democracy work. If you do something, if you, sabi ko, I will go to your place. I will pay you a visit. May nangyari talaga, Pilipina. Kayo na lang mga apika. I do not want to. Kasi baka sabihin, nagyayabang ako. O doon may isang ano, inambos na matay yung kapatid ng kandidato na babae. Eh sige, iyak sa TV, Mayor, tulungan mo kami dito sa araw. Sabi ko sa polis, ano ang nangyari? Sir, inambos tapos na matay yung... Sabi ko kay Bong, two days before, oh, Bong, maghanap ko ng aeroplano, lipad tayo. Pagdating doon, sabi ko, maghanap ko ng helicopter, maglipad tayo gabi. Gabi, naglipad ako. I'm the only one who flies a helicopter at night. We go doon sa ano, nag-landing kami doon sa barangay hall. Tapos sabi ko, tawagin mo. Yung pagrabiado. Kinausap ko. Sige, iyak. Sige lang. I will... Tapos sabi ko, tawagin mo yung putang inang yan. So, long table yon, narrow table but long. Dinila siya ng PSG sa, sa harap. Huwag, ayaw ko yan, doon ka. Kasi doon ka. Pero but the first time, nagbaba ako, nagdala ako ng... Hindi naman ako nagdadala ng baril. Basta bag lang. First time pagbaba ako, nagdala ako ng... Sabi ko sa mga security, Huwag ninyong sitahin. Huwag ninyong kapkapan. Kasi may baril itong gago ito. Maldito eh. Pagdating doon sinabi ko, sabi niya, Oh, Mayor. Uh, oh, panalo ka dito sa dalawang bayan ko. Ako lang ang Duterte dito. Sabi ko, alam ko. Ganun na lang ang pasalamat ko. Pero putang ina ka, bakit mo ako pinahiya? Sinabi ko sa iyo, huwag din yung it. Do not fuck with the people. So, uh, galit ko talaga, pinaalis ko. Alam sila lahat. Yan yung security ko. Alis ko yung lahat. Kwarto. Sabi nyo ng security. Sir, mag-iwan lang ako ng isa sa banyo. Pagkada, palabasin mo yan. Kami dalawa lang. O, sabi ko ngayon, kung matapang ka, sige daw, bumunot ka. Sige daw. Ma ma Mahusay ka mga sa barila. Sige daw. Kukantayin dalawa lang. Tapusin natin ito. Putang ina ka. Tapos, hindi, hindi ako ka, 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 story. Hindi ako story. Kasi, sabi ko, pag ang election dito, matuloy, hindi matuloy because dahil ikaw babalikan kita dito, papatayin kita. Maniwala ka. Kinabukasan, election, landslide yung kalaban. 
Nga ito sabi ko ngayon, itong itong election na dadating, hindi na ako presidente. Pero I mean, presidente pa ako during the election. Then I will assure you everybody, it will be a clean and honest election. Gagamitin ko yung army, pal police, pati all the uniform. Pagka mag-terrorist mo, malinis man last year ba? O yung election na dumaan? Malinis man. Wala masyadong ano. Except yung may mga vendetta. O yung sa kay Batokabe. No? Papunta ako doon. I had the, I had the, the woman, uh, the, the, the wife uh, protected uh, by the police and tinanggal ko yung police uh, uh, mayor. Talagang, inano ko, dinisarmahan ko siya. Ako, ako hindi ako magano. Trabaho ko yan. So, my, my oath of office is, kayo negosyo lang. Kung may maghingi sa inyo, I'm giving you the formula that's the fastest and most effective. You go about your business. I want my country to succeed. You are the entrepreneurs in your kami, wala kami. After this, we retire. Wala kami ng alama na negosyo. So, we protect you so that you can. Alam mo pag nagsara isang tam, may tama lahat na. Tama na yung mga negosyante. Kaya ngayon, sabi po, pagdating dito, papunta kami dito, ni Lucio. Sabi niya, hirap ako kasi wala na akong trabahante na skilled workers. Kaya sabi ko nga, may maraming trabaho. Ang problema, walang skill. Kaya yung test na sana, pinabilis ko talaga kay General Apenia. Sabi ko, delayed ang trabaho ninyo because walang, hindi ka pwede mong magkuha ka lang ng plumber niya na Di ba, alam, kuha ka ng plumber. Paglagay mo yan, pag-plus mo sa toilet, imbis na papunta sa loob, puta yan, napupunta yan. <laughs> yung electricity. You just cannot call anybody that's why, okay, go in mo yung, just to be a master electrician, master car carpentry. May trabaho ang Pilipinas. All over. Kaya medyo naggumagana ang buhay. So all we have to do is to work together and uh, let me know what's uh, bothering you. Because I, I, I have always, I have the time. I will always have the time to attend to you, especially yung graft and corruption. Baske gaano kalit. And if you're permit there, because may bago ako, the cabinet members, one month. The directors, three months. Beyond that, pabalikin mo yung tao. That, that's corruption. Gusto mo lang pera. Kaya ngayon, pag ano kayo, tanong ng requirements, lista ninyo, sabihin ko sa kanila, huwag na ninyong palitan yan. Do not add or uh, take away something there. Tapos, kumpletuhin mo yan, sabihin sa inyo kung kailan kayo. Pag pinapabalik-balik kayo, let me know. Because that is corruption. Simple lang yan. Masaya ang ganun. Ang paraan para gumana naman ang Pilipinas. At magkaroon tayo ng hotel na maganda. At maraming trabahante. At sa inyigresyon, nakakain tayo ng masarap na pagkain. Ayaw mo pa yan? Ah. With that, I say thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. May we request the President for a photo opportunity in five batches? Please come in front as called batch number one, the Ko family.
please stand by. Batch number two, relatives of the Koa family. Please stand by batch number two, relatives of the Koa family. Please stand by batch number three, friends and business associates of the Koa family. Thank you very much. Now let's have batch number three, friends and business associates of the Co family. Please stand by. Batch number four, corporate employees. Once again, please stand by, batch number four, corporate employees. Please stand by, batch number four, corporate employees. Thank you very much, batch number three. Now let's have batch number four, corporate employees. Please stand by, batch number five, Akasha Hotel Team. Thank you very much. Batch number four, corporate employees. Please stand by. Batch number five, Akasha Hotel Team. Thank you very much, corporate employees. Now let's have batch number five, Akasha Hotel Team. Thank you very much. Batch number five. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for taking your precious time with us. Ladies and gentlemen, that ends our program with the President.